welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. On the last one, I left you where we'd just finished sorting all the paving down, done all the mills, and on this one, I'm cleaning up the paths. I've already started, so let's show you what I'm doing. So I've already started on this side. As you can see, I've taken up all the tile. The only tile that's left behind is obviously holding it together. And then I've got to get all this bit and all down this side. Okay, so we got some more progress on the pathways. Cleared them all up on the road plates. I've put dark one by tile all round the edges for the curbs and then it all comes down the edge of the train track as well and then we're going to have light grey in the middle and then light grey over here I was looking at where did I put it so yeah I was looking at putting a dark grey there and at the end there next to the track but I've run out of dark grey so we'll just have to see where we go from there but otherwise the pathways and the roads looking a lot better as i say the only light greys you see at the moment are what's pinning the road down but this is definitely starting to take shape so it turns out in the last video i was wrong because you can still see the yellow from this side so i'm gonna have to change that to gray and then just like that it's all blended back in just the way it should be. Do you want a quick sneak peek at the next video? Oh yeah. Awesome set. Got Crane, City Coffee um, Shop, Toy Shop, Coffee, um, what do you call it? Like a little bike trike thing. Mini taxi, another police bike. We've got a van. We've got a load of characters. I am looking forward to building this set. I really, really am. Okay, so I'm pretty proud of my new rebuild. The Lego shop has been made bigger. I've put a big Lego block on top. You ain't gonna see the sides anyway, so it don't matter. I've added, hang on, let's see if I can get this roof off. I've added some figures and stuff in the top. So we've got dinosaurs, we've got Ninjago, and we've got some micro figs. And then at the bottom is just all the usual stuff, some of which was at the top. So all in all, that has turned out pretty damn good. So now that will go just there next to the jewelry shop. Oh yeah, this row is coming along nicely. I was going to leave it as a half and put it on this back plate down here. But then I thought, well, no, it's got to be on a main road because I've just had that uh, lorry, the big yellow lorry that's in there. And that is the delivery truck for the Lego. So it has to be on the main road. Makes sense. And now I'm working out these. So... I've got the high school, I've kind of added the bike and the toilet underneath, doubled up the bike shed so that it's same size and I've created another roof, I've just recreated these because I didn't have enough of the darks, but I'm just trying to figure out now how to put them on and where to put them. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still trying to figure that part out. The school is a pain in the back solid. Okay, and we've got the bank done. So, complete different remodel on the bank. Again, I'm not really bothered about the solids. Seems a bit of a waste of a window there, but okay. So, I've even mod modulized it, shall we call it? Ta-da, right. So, the original 
cash point has been changed and I've added some sort of techno pieces that I've got to it. Uh, spin it around, still got the sitting area. We've got the desk. I've put a big gate and wall for the back of the cash machine. I'm going to get a plant to put in this corner, so I'm not quite finished with that bit yet. Then on this bit, oh, I didn't realise that had police sticker written on it. But I've basically finished off a wall around that safe so that the gate makes sense. Added a little guard's desk and a water cooler. So, fingers crossed, that don't look too bad. And then I like the little roof technique that it had as well. So, I decided to keep it. But yeah, that's pretty much that done. So that is going to go here and right next to the Lego store. So if they run out of money and the cash points run out, you can always go to the bank next door. Oh, yeah. I suppose I haven't quite considered the fact that you've got a Lego shop with an ATM right next to a bank with an ATM. Doesn't make a fat lot of sense, but... It'll do for now, I'm quite happy with that. The only other alternative is I move that up to here. But that's just a lot of messing. What should I do? Let's have a look. Okay, that actually works out a lot better because now you've got the bank in between the train station and the restaurants. Then you've got a jewelry shop. You've got the Lego shop. And you've got the coffee shop. So I've got these two left to do. I've got that one and that one to decide what to do with. And then I've got my school to modulise and decide where that's going. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it there. So I didn't quite get all the tiling of the pavements done as I hoped for today. But I've got two more modular buildings done. Yeah, two more modular buildings done. I've got the water done. I don't know if I mentioned that. Let's have a look. So what I've done with this one instead is I've grassed off the two sides. I've watered the inside. There's a couple of plates. Where's the other one? One there and one there. So there's a couple of plates and there's a load of uh, cheese wedges or cheese slopes. And then I've left a tiny slot there that I can put half a minifigure in to look like they're swimming. So... For now, you're all up to date. Let's see what happens next. So thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll catch you in the next video.